Hi, it's Roland from East Marsh Acres. East Marsh Acres? Try saying that three times in a row. Uh, anyways, we're back for more fun and frolic while bil building the... No, nope, not that one. That one. Uh, but while building the uh, outdoor container area for our meat chickens. And uh, we've done a little bit of work since the last time you've seen this. Um, so Patricia and, and uh, Rachel primarily put uh, one inch chicken wire around the bottom. So it's completely closed in now. That's primarily to not only keep the, uh, the chicks in, but also to keep predators out. Um, today, what we're going to be doing is building the door. Um, so it will fit within this frame that uh, we've got here and uh, We'll bring you along for the ride as we're doing it. So Come along Hi, it's Trisha from East Marsh Shakers, and we have worked for an hour or so on our meat chicken tractor, and I'll show you what we did today. So, um, we put in the door. So we made this door. Okay. Um, and it even yeah, opens. so it has a latch. Um, yeah, it's going to drag on the ground. Might have to. I don't know. Prop up the top. Maybe have to prop up the top or sh shim or something like that. I don't know. But we got latches on. Got the hardware cloth in here. And uh, then what we did, we also put in reinforcements in each of the corners because those are going to be, um, yeah, pulled. Uh, I think one thing that we can do this afternoon yet is put in some braces right in here just some some cross braces just to Hold give it a little bit more strength for the, the door, door, the door for itself. the door frame and the door itself and uh, so we can do that a little bit this afternoon with some spare wood um so that's did you show the corner brackets too? yeah that's what we did today so stay tuned for our second half of um, some finishing touches and then we will also be bending uh, we'll be bending metal or pipe pipe bending for the roof rooftops so that should be interesting because we haven't done that before so talk to you later bye for now Hi, it's Trisha here from East Marsh Shakers, and today we are going to be building a brooder for 30 meat chicken that are coming on Thursday. So today is Tuesday, so we got to get it done today, and so we'll be prepared for the delivery on Thursday. So Rachel and I are attempting to not attempting do this. Doing. Well, we are, are doing yes. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so we have this box that our high uh, high tunnel or whatever came in and it's been sitting outside a little worse for wear but we're going to put some higher sides on it and uh, so it'll be plenty big for for the chickens 
and uh, yeah so we'll let you know about our progress so we plan to put kind of another layer of height on the top here so talk to you soon Okay, I'll be. Okay, can we both work at it? <laughs> yeah. You want to say a word or two? Hi there, it's Trisha from East March Shakers. And we are, this is chick day. So we picked up 30 meat chickens today. And so we've got them. I'll be ready for and lunch they came to our feed store in a box like this. So they were probably born yesterday, and so they have not drank anything or eaten anything for 24 hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip their beaks into this um, water here. It's called magic water. It's a mixture of honey, apple cider vinegar, and garlic in the water. So they'll they'll have that for the first couple days. And uh, what we do is we dip their beaks in to the water so they know where the water is and get their first drink. So, Alps is really interested. But we're not going to hurt them, right, Albie? Okay. There we go. Any there dead ones? Go. Nope. Good. Let me see. Hello. Hey, I gotta push their head down, right? Whoa! Whoa! What happened? Sorry. Pulled right over. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Thirty. Water might be too high uh, for birds. birds. That one dark. Which one? That one. Oh, is that just the old one? 
Oh, that's, yeah. That's <laughs> Just fluff ball for a day or two. Yeah. Albie, are you being gentle? Albie? Albie? Hey, don't lick your lips. Get out of here. Oh, they're exploring already. Plenty of room in here for 30 pounds. Yeah, Rachel was almost thinking it was too big. That's too. Oh, look at this. This one's starting to eat already. Well, our, our latest, uh, laying hens, that's like immediately what they started doing with eating. I can't count them. We didn't count them. Oh, yeah. Two, four, yeah, six, eight. Okay, so as they come through this side. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Oh, that excludes that they're going to stay on that side. Yeah. Shiza. Two, four, six, eight, ten, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, that's probably good. <laughs> two, four, six, eight. And we'll see in 12, 15, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, yeah. So. <laughs> we got what we got. Puppies. Yeah. Well, they know where the water is, good, so they're, they're going in the water. I just counted 29, but I may have missed one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, just little puppies. Well, they're not immediately running for the heat, so that's good. I was wondering if you were going to put anything barrier to that. Yeah, so some gaps. <laughs> they're pretty fast. Yeah. Well, we found some from the... Yeah, that's the water. Remember that? Remember that? No, we're drinking already. And then this all over here. There's two underneath there, three underneath there. <laughs> nope. Okay. <coughs> oh, sorry. What are you doing? It's like, ooh, ooh. Alright, I'll look if I'm drinking. There you go, Dobbs. You come see? Hey, hey. Over here. Toby, right there. There you go. A bit taller than the previous. Yeah. Well, let him put his feet up on the... Oh, no. No, let him. Toby. Yes, but this is pretty well covered. You can kind of see the mouth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. You can see. I'm going to say, do you think we need to walk out around here? Or should we just... I don't think he'd hop in, would he? No. Maybe we'll just move things around that he can't. Jump up. Are you guys cold? I guess that's the, up, uh, the upside of um, if you're not having a through there confident dog. He doesn't get into trouble. He's just that in. He goes this in. That one has a black spot on it. Right. Otherwise, they all pretty much look the same. Mm -hmm. And we'll have to be watching out for Hasty Butt. Mm -hmm. So. There's some poop in the bottom of the yeah. thing. <laughs> well, in a couple of days, they'll already start getting their feathers. 
So last time you'll be cutie pies. <laughs> Not last time, but anyways, you grow up fast. Yep. Oh, well, the motor. <coughs> What's that, Alps? about the barking. Oh, that one's going for a swim. I feel like the water's a bit too low now. No, I think it's good. All the shavings. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. What? Are you jealous? Are you jealous? <laughs> So how long do they need, need to stay in the brooder? Probably two to three weeks. Yeah. And so then we should have that ready. We already have um, a date for when they're going to processor. Yep. Uh, so that's nine weeks from today. Um, so we're going to be. Uh, so it's going to be a really quick turnaround. Um, we'll have to see how this works. Um, and then we're thinking about, uh, duplicating it one more time, uh, for the fall. Um, so going for, uh, a total of about 60 birds or so that we can put in the freezer. And we've got that also means that we have to function. put another freezer together or purchase well, another freezer. Getting empty, but. Yeah. But if we get... You know, 50 or 50 birds in there, yeah. uh, plus the garden well, yeah. uh, materials. Oh, I know, but we won't have to get a freezer like right away once the processing is done. I yeah. Because I'm sure John Daniel have room in there too. Whatever. <coughs> so we'll see. Well, they're pretty active. Like they're not really like going for the heat. No. No. That's good. They, that they have to be. I mean, they crowd together, but that's more, I think, chicken behavior than, yeah, flock. I seem thirsty. Not super interested in the food yet, but they'll get there. <laughs> well, they're still working off of uh, body reserves from the yolk uh, in the eggs. I that... counted 30. Now you got to confirm it by doing it again. Yeah. No, it wasn't in there. This is my life starting skills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Although, well, boys all look the same when they don't have shirt on. Man, do they move. Very impressive. These guys are really interested in, in just run from one side to the other. I mean, they've got flock behavior already. No, oh, that one's got it. Yeah, just a couple of it. Hey, buddies, over here.
Shaving is just as good as food. Definitely interested in water, which is good. Which is, yeah, they don't need to eat anything. These two are already bickering. <laughs> yeah, there is one with the white with the brown spot on it. That's the only like deciphering. Yeah. Well, some of them are a little more yellow in yeah, some, some, some areas than others. Some spot of brown. Okay, I think we'll do updates on a regular basis to make sure that you uh, will see their progress. Um, and then in a couple of weeks, we'll actually move them out into the... Um, the tractor, uh, which we'll need to actually have finished by then. Um, so we'll need to get moving to that. I guess everybody's waiting for me to um, bend some pipe mm -hmm. and uh, then we can attach that. Anyways, we'll talk to you soon.